What do you think is more important, or how do you kind of quantify reach versus engagement? I think engagement is much, much more important than the actual reach of a post, um, because those are the people who are going to be sharing your post to other people. So I'll look at how engaged a collaborator is before I'll collaborate, because it takes a lot of time. Like, I try to collaborate every week, but then sometimes those collaborations, you don't really get a much drive through the traffic. So I always check to see how engaged their audience is before I collaborate. 100%. Um, about a year and a half ago when we launched, I noticed all brands looked at was subscriber counts. Everyone's like, ooh, that's the big number. But really, that's one of the most unimportant numbers there is. So now people are looking at average views, because views is engagement. And then now they're looking at how many comments and how many likes. If somebody's not interacting or not there, like that number is completely you know, meaningless. So uh, it seems like brands are starting to get that a little bit more, but just keep that in mind when you're looking to work with influencers. It's only a matter of time, too, because Twitter has a tangible way to quantify that right now. There is an engagement button. You can click on every tweet and see how many people it's reached and how many people have actually clicked on it and gone through the, meta, the, the uh, link inside, if there's a link attached. So hopefully, how's, uh, how's YouTube doing with that? How, how are we coming? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I would also add um, that for YouTube, the, uh, the critical metric that we look at is watch time. Um, a lot of people, I know you guys have heard of it, a lot of people don't know what that is, watch time. Rather than views, it's how long people watch um, your content uh, and then continue on to the platform. Um, so audience retention is very important. How long do they stay on your video rather than you know, just a few seconds in or something. Um, and that's how we gauge a lot of things at YouTube and gauge success um, um, for, for a creator. Um, so if you don't know how to look at your watch time, go to YouTube Analytics, it's there. I think mean, we've made a recent switch where it's more front and center. Um, and uh, look at watch time, use that to, to gauge um, how, how well you guys are doing uh, at least from the YouTube side. I know reach is kind of a sexy metric, right? Oh, like five million people saw this video, super exciting. What, all these people, oh, and we got 50,000 likes. But nobody really knows what that means. Uh, a like could, mean any number of things to any number of different people that are liking the video. Comments a little bit easier to measure, but still kind of put an ROI value on that. I feel like those of us who kind of focus on the data, data science side of things, we have a responsibility to take the step even further and start talking about the ROI of the campaigns we're doing. So some ways we can get at that are like taking uh, surveys of people that have seen our videos measuring purchase intent as it changes over time to those exposed to our videos, those that haven't, and to talk about like changing uh, consumer trends, talk about consumer attitudes, because I think one of the things that we should really focus on when we're trying to change behavior is starting by changing attitudes, because attitudes drive behavior. 